We got a nickname for anyone who trifles with us guards here in Windhelm. So hey! What is it? Dragons? <laughs> Please keep your weapons sheathed in the Jarl's presence. May the gods watch over your battles, friend. Did he now? <laughs> the man is persistent. I'll give him that. I suppose it's time I give him an answer. Proventus, my eyes, what do you make of all this? If Ulfric were to attack Whiterun... As in all things, Lord, caution. I urge us to wait and see. Pray wait. I'm of a mind with Irelet. It's time to act. You plan to march on Windhelm? I'm not a fool, Proventus. I mean it's time to challenge Ulfric to face me as a man. Or march his storm cloaks up to the gates. He'll do no such thing. A dagger in the back is all you could expect. He was rather straightforward with Torig. Torig? He simply walked up to the boy and murdered him. That boy was High King of Skyrim. I'm not the High King, but neither am I a boy. If Ulfric wants to challenge my rule in the old way, let him. Though I suspect he'll prefer to send his storm cloaks to do it for him. True. He's already proven his personal strength. Now he seeks to prove his armies. Then might I urge you to consider General Tullius's request? I mean, if you are bent on offending Jarl Ulfric. Ulfric is the one who has offended. But Proventus has a point. Ulfric has made it clear. In his mind, to refuse his claim is to side with the Empire. And what harm is there in letting a few legionnaires die in place of your own men? It seems cowardly. Was it cowardly, then, to accept the White Gold Concordat? This again? That was different. Was I given a chance to object to the terms of the treaty? No. The Jarls weren't asked. We were told. And we had to like it. The chests of gold didn't hurt. Damn it! This isn't about gold! It's time to decide. Lord, wait. Let us see if Ulfric is serious. Oh, he's serious. But so am I. Finally. So about this axe. You can return this axe to our friend. The esteemed Jarl of Windhelm has my answer. Make sure he gets it. Proventus, bring me my pen and the good parchment. Are we writing a letter, Lord? Yes, to General Talius. I need to make a few things clear before I accept these legionnaires. I'd be a lot warmer and a lot happier with a belly full of meat. Looking to do some hunting? 
Avoid Britain Shin Pass. It's southeast of here. I have to wonder. What does the Dragonborn do once he's summoned by the Greybeards? Can the Thorn be taught? Like any skill. Soon enough, we will march on Solitude. And on that day, the heroes of Sovngarde will march with us, and the Empire will fall to its knees in fear. Then I was wrong about him. You're right, Galmar. Again. I'm in no mood to joke. Give the word, my lord, and Whiterun is yours. Whiterun is only a means to an end. I've toured our camps. We're ready, Ulfric. Whenever you are. Is any man ever ready to give the order that will mean the deaths of many? No, but neither is every man able to give that order when he must. But you are that man, Ulfric. You've been that man before, and you'll be him again. And these men and women, they call themselves Stormcloaks because they believe in you. They are the meanest, toughest sons of bitches Skyrim has to offer. And they want this. They want this as much as you do. Perhaps they want it more. You're certain we're ready. Whiterun's army will no doubt be bolstered with legionnaires. And those walls around Whiterun are old. But they still stand. We are ready. And I might be old myself. But I'll kick those damn walls down with my bare feet, if you would only ask me to do it. <laughs> I'm sure you could do it, too. All right. This is it. Yes! Send the word. A new day is dawning, and the sun rises over Whiterun. I and the sons of Skyrim will greet that dawn, teeth and swords flashing. So it begins. Make haste to our camp in White Run. I want you on the front lines. I have a feeling about you. Your place is on that battlefield. I need you there. Then I commit them to whatever gods they still believe in. Talos be with you. Taking the city. Meet the brothers gathering for the attack. Fight well or die well. Talos be with you. <coughs> they say Ulfric Stormcloak murdered the High King with his voice, shouted him apart. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. I've got a letter and a lot of gold. Something about it being your, uh, oh, inheritance. Oh, and sorry for your loss. Looks like that's it. Got to go.
onto you both. Who is that again? <sighs> Delegia. Am I still gonna be able to buy a house in Whiterun after a battle there? Doubtful. <sighs> Who is that again? Is it? Who I think it is? No, not map. Quests. No. don't know who that is. Nope. Sorry. Nothing. I, I probably have interacted with that person, maybe. <laughs> I... I'm honestly not sure what that was about. Seems like White Run's been removed from my map. Huh. <sighs> well, this can't be good. Explains it. This is it, man. They say the wolves, and... but no, we are farmers. We are craftsmen. We are sons and daughters of shopkeepers, maid servants, and soldiers. We are the sons and daughters of Skyrim. And we have come this far because our cause is true. Because we fight as one, and because our hearts are bursting with anger. What we do here today, we do for our country, for all the true lords of Skyrim. White Run's walls are tall, but they are old and crumbling, like the Empire whose legion lies there. They barricade to block us, but we tear through them. And the Imperials behind them! Ah! Is the drawbridge. If we can find a way to drop it, the city will be ours! Everyone on me! Let's show these Imperial milk drinkers what true lords look like! Ah! Yeah! Okay. I'm the freaking Thane of Whiterun, and I just joined the Storm Folks, and I'm now attacking Whiterun. This is fun. Uh, I don't feel bad about this at all. Why is my horse here? Oh my gosh. I just- I just 
died. I didn't even- I wasn't paying attention to my health. When was the last time I saved? No, but neither is every eh. man able to give that order when he must. But you are that man, Ulfric. You've been that man before, and you'll be him again. And these men and women, they call themselves Stormcloaks because they believe in you. They are the meanest, toughest sons of <laughs> Skyrim has to offer. It's very vulgar. <laughs> what this? They want this as much as you do. Perhaps they want it more. You're certain, Rebecca. White Butt's armor will no doubt be bolstered with each man. And those walls around White Butt are old. They still stand. We are men. I might be old myself, but I'll kick those damn walls <coughs> down with my bare feet. Ask me to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you could do it. All right. This is it. Yes! Send the word. A new day is dawning, and the sun rises over White Rock. Aye, and the sons of Skyrim will greet that dawn, teeth and swords flashing. So it begins. Make haste to our camp in White Rock. I, I have a feeling about you. Your place. Fight well or die well. Talos be with you. We're taking the city. Damn, Talios. He's pocketed men in the rift. Fight well, or it's dangerous well. having Imperial smoking about on the southern border of East March. Go with the gods. Is Lydia gonna fight with me with this? Like she's fighting her own people, and she's joining me here. My heart goes out to Clan Shield. I'm right behind you. Family Warhammers. <sighs> oh dear. Well. Save right when we get there this time. I need to watch my health this time. And like, quick save constantly. <laughs> but like, not too constantly, because I don't want to get in like a death trap thing.
What was that about? Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty much out of magic now. Imperials? These are Imperials. None of them are attacking me though, I guess they're just fleeing into the city. Some of the gray men have gotten out of here. Dear friend.
I just want to take out everybody, I guess. The Shrine of Talos has been left untouched. I hope every everyone evacuated the city. Like, other than... <sighs> soldiers. still able to join the companions after this? I just don't know what happens after this battle because I've never gotten this far. I'm just going blind at this point. Yeah. Lydia's definitely not with me. <laughs> I didn't think she would be. Good job out there. Glad you were with us. That's enough. Uh, I surrender. I surrender. Peace! Everyone stand down. That's an order. Stand down! Outroof! Vignar Greymaid. Your family was noticeably absent from the walls. Now I know why. Wouldn't the dagger in the back have sufficed? You think this is personal? The Empire has no place in Skyrim. Not anymore. And you, you have no place in Whiterun anymore. A convenient position to hold now. But mark my words, old man. In the days to come, Ulfric will spread his rebellion thin. And what then? We need the Empire as much as it needs us. We Nords are the Empire. Our blood built it. Our blood sustains it. You of all people should know that. I worry about the proper semblance of the whole. Unwalled, mighty man. Five times over the damn sides. She ought to show us, huh? Thanks for your part in all that. We should stop hiding our way out. Okay, I'm trying to listen to this one conversation, and I have like six people talking around me. Not bending knee to them. The Emperor is nothing more than a puppet of the Thalmor. Staying Sky safe, I hope. needs a High King who will fight for her. And Whiterun needs a Jarl who will do the same. Tell me, Vignar, was all this worth it? How many of those corpses lining our streets wear the faces of men who once called you friend? What about their families? 
Enough, both of you. There is a burning city out there that needs a government. He's right. Galmar, come. Let us restore order. This isn't over. Hear me, you old fool. This isn't over. And you, a stolen cloak. <laughs> I thought better of you. You'll all come to regret this day. I'm pretty sure I killed more than you. I was counting. Get over to Vendel. Tell Ufren. Victory here. Are your ears still ringing? I hope that goes away. Be glad you're here in the city, not out of the river. Think us all lawless beasts. I'm proof of their ignorance. Oh gosh, I feel bad. <sighs> and my next playthrough, I'm definitely going on the Imperial side. <laughs> I think they're still farm outside the city. They're both considered be right in some way. Why is the battle music still playing? I'm not in the battle anymore. The Stormcloaks are finding victory across the land. We've driven the Imperials out of White Run. This is good. Very good. We now control the center. It's a powerful position. One I aim to keep. We'll call you Ice Veins now. For the thick blood of our land has seeped into your heart. Here, take this. It's an Imperial Officer's sword. A fitting weapon to use against our enemy. I suspect you'll be of greater use to us with greater freedom. So you're free to engage the Imperials as you see fit. But I also want you to find our hidden camp before we do. Norma will have special tasks for you, and we'll need you when we liberate the capital. You'll be doing whatever Garmar tells you to do, and causing as much mayhem as possible for the Empire and any Jarl who supports them. Go with the gods. I'm right behind you. What is it? What do you need? Okay, got it. Anything else? Why the constant battle music? I'm not in a battle. Honestly. Looks like we have a little under ten minutes left. They say I'll fix story club murdered the high. Why do you keep talking about that? You're literally in Wendell. I've been looking for you. I've got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see. I've got a letter and a lot of gold. Something about it being your uh, oh inheritance. Oh, and sorry. Another inheritance? A letter from the Jarl. Moving up in the world, eh? Looks like that's it. Got to go. It's like okay, yeah. <laughs> letter from the Jarl. Makes more sense right now. to introduce myself. My name is Sidger, and I have the honor to be the Jarl of the proud and ancient city of Falkreath. The fame of your exploits across Skyrim has brought you to my attention. If you are interested in becoming a Thane of Falkreath Hold, I invite you to speak to me the next time you're in Falkreath. 
aside from the heart, the honor that cruised the title, my thanes are entitled to a personal house guard. I also can tell you privately that a choice parcel of land in Falkreath would be available to your per for your purchase should your services provide useful to me. I look forward to meeting you in person. I remain Jarl Sidgar of, of Falkreath. Well, I'm supposed to cause a bunch of chaos in Falkreath. <sighs> okay. Why are you still with me? I literally just overthrew your Jarl. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I'm gonna save the skills for later. We only have a few minutes left. Five minutes left. So many things I want to do here. But I think the thing that makes the most sense the net for the next thing is to continue with this quest liberation of Skyrim. So let's figure out where we need to go. Well, creates, right? Where's that at? Lydia, what are you doing? This way, please. Do not attack the people in there. Am I, like, the enemy of all Imperials now? Like, am I gonna be, like, killed on sight? Because <laughs> I'm a little concerned about that. Okay. Do need to go around Helgen <laughs> to get to Falkreath. Maybe Helgen wasn't the best choice? Let's try Riverwood. Let's 
everyone's still a safe spot. What do you need? A oh, Stormcloak soldier. Which I suppose it is. Okay. the question of the year. I swear if I'm just heading directly back to Helgen. Why is there constantly battle music now? Okay. Well, my timer just went off. hurt a little. Well, uh, we just fought a battle in Whiterun and won. And, uh, now you're headed to Fulgreath, both to talk to the Oral there and also to cause chaos? <laughs> it's not to be interesting. Uh. Hmm. Well, I think that is the end of this episode. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.